an introduction to four file explorers that can be used on Windows 10 and Windows 11 in complement, not as really as a replacement, for the built-in file explorers. And uh, on Windows 10, the file explorer does not have uh, a tabbed file explorer that Windows 11 has. And the Windows 11 tabbed file explorer doesn't have persistence. It doesn't restore them. So all of these file managers have uh, tabs. And when you close and reopen the program, those tabs reappear. The first one that I'm going to cover is called Explorer++. And this one uh, is not for people that uh, have poor eyesight because the fonts are very, very small. Um, you can see up here, I've got a tab pointing to my D drive, a tab pointing to my downloads folder, and a tab pointing to a folder called KSNP. These are all of my drive letters that I have available. And over on the left-hand side, I've got my pictures and my downloads and my home folder and gallery and all of this stuff. Uh, it's just that if I click over here, I can say New Tab, and now I can decide where I would like that new tab to be. Okay, so there's no way to change the font size in this, and I don't believe it is a double pane. Um, I think it's only a single pane, a uh, single tree. So uh, if you want to copy files from one place to another, you would select them over here and then paste them over here. Okay, this is uh, Explorer++, free, lightweight, fast. And I'm going to say yes, I want to close them, and then it'll restore those tabs. The second one that I want to cover is called Double Commander. And Double Commander is also an open source program. It has on the left hand side a, a single tree view of all of your drive letters. It does not show you all of the things that you're accustomed to seeing in this uh, vertical uh, window that you you know you would see in regular File Explorer. All it shows you are your drives. You know, C, D, G, P, S, and Z for me. And then they're also up here across the top. And then it, there are two uh, trees. And you can adjust the, the spacing between the two of them. And what's really nice is you'll see that, you, that all of the files uh, and directories are nice and bright and bold, you know, color. And if I go into configuration and options... I can go down to um, fonts, and then they have the main font, the editor font, viewer font, uh, the log console font, path font. They've got all these different, you know, tree view, menu font, and you can decide what font style you would like them to be and what size you would like them to be. So if I change my default font up to 18 and hit OK, see how big it gets. And this all depends on, you know, how big it gets is, you know, what it is that you would, that's comfortable for you to read. Uh, I'm going to go back in here and set this back to, uh, I believe it was 12, and hit OK. And that's what I use. And this is called Double Commander and it's open source and this is and this is how it looks this is the best of the one of the best of the two best for uh people who uh have trouble reading uh what's in file explorer or if you're on a zoom meeting and you want to show files in your file explorer and the built-in one is too small or if you want to have uh tabs like for example, I have you can have book you can have favorites. This is the hot list where I can choose different directories. So for example, I'm gonna use this as an example. This is pointing to drive S. And if I click here, I've already 
added a few of these to uh, here. So if I want to go to my home folder, I just click here and it takes me to my home folder. The next file manager is called files. And I believe this version of files is one version out of date. So it's the interface I think is a little bit different. You'll see that it just restored all of my previous tabs. And it has on the left hand side all of the items that you've pinned uh, in File Explorer. It has your libraries, your drives, your cloud drives, uh, network, Windows subsystem for Linux, and tags. And tags I'll cover, uh, like for example, I, I, I outlined a tag uh, for work called the Stug. It's a folder in my home directory called the Stug. And you can go into any folder you want. Here's my D drive and my downloads folder. But this is a program called Files. It's available in the Microsoft Store, I believe, for a fee. But you can download it free of charge from the company's website. Um, and then finally, uh, my favorite new file explorer is called One Commander. And One Commander pops open lightning fast. And you can have uh, two tab views. So, for example, I can have uh, my, my pictures of my dog over here and my download folder over here. If I want more view for my dogs, I can click over here, and now I've got it all for my dogs. Or if I can, I can click over here and say that I want more space for this tab. What's nice about this uh, layout uh, aside from being very easy to read, uh, it has the file name or the directory name. It says these are directories, these are the file types. This column, instead of showing the actual time stamp, it actually shows you how recently you accessed these files. H 15H is uh, 15 hours ago. This is represents seven days ago. This represents nine months ago, and if I had uh, modified something hours ago, minutes ago, it would actually have a lowercase m, I believe. Uh, in It has access to uh, a history of where you've been. It has uh, my OneDrive, my downloads, my videos, my pictures, uh, network. It's got all of my drive letters up here. And in settings, it has uh, under general a font size. And it says font size is larger than 18 point or not officially supported and may equip pure clipped or, or uh, misaligned. But I have it at 23 and it seems to be working fine. Um, that's the largest file size. If you go to 18, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit small, so um, I would, you know, bring it up to 20. But it says, you know, and then it, this makes it easier to read. But even 23, even though it says it's a problem, I haven't found it to actually be a problem. So this file explorer gives you a nice brown background that maybe you can change. Um, it gives you the ability to sort uh, by column and these are the different views details and, and uh, you know icons and things like this um, you can go up and down up a folder uh, back a folder and uh, up here are where your tabs are so I've got a folder a tab for videos a tab for downloads and a tab for dav mail and I can add another tab over here and it will just duplicate that and I can go to my Google Drive. It's very fast, very efficient and free. And it also restores your tabs when you start it up again. Mm -hmm.